we are facing a global crisis. Many regions of the world are experiencing drought, groundwater depletion, municipal water shortages, and contaminated freshwater supplies. Here in the U.S., we typically think of water used for drinking, showers, and green lawns. Globally, we think of how much water is used for agriculture, but nearly half of all the fresh water withdrawn from the water sources in the U.S. and in Europe is used to cool off power plants. In fact, it's estimated that worldwide, more than three trillion gallons of water per year are used in the production of electric power. Power plants take in a staggering amount of water, use it for cooling, and then send some of it out as water vapor through cooling towers. Concerned about global water scarcity, the MIT scientists behind infinite cooling wondered if they could efficiently capture some of this water directly from the air. They looked to one of the driest parts of the world for inspiration. In arid southwestern Africa, the Namib desert beetle has developed a remarkable way to survive. It leans its bumpy body into the wind, where droplets of water from fog collect and trickle down to its mouth. Intrigued by this natural fog harvesting technique, the team at Infinite Cooling have developed a mesh to collect water from industrial cooling systems. As you can imagine, it is hard to catch fog. The trick is to get the water to stick to the mesh where it can accumulate. Fortunately, the atoms that make up everything on Earth provide a powerful solution. Atoms are surrounded by electrons, and when they lose or gain electrons, they can become negatively or positively charged. And things with opposite charges attract. For example, as a bumblebee flies through the air, it is stripped of negatively charged electrons, and the bee becomes positively charged. Flowers, on the other hand, are negatively charged. As a positively charged bumblebee approaches a negatively charged flower, the force of attraction causes the pollen to leap from the flower and stick to the bumblebee's hair. This makes a pretty low energy way for the bumblebee to collect pollen. In a similar fashion, the Infinite Cooling Team has designed a system that uses an ion emitter to charge fog droplets. The water vapor plume leaves the cooling tower, gets charged, causing the water droplets to stick to a wire mesh, where they accumulate and flow into a tank. This water can then be reintroduced back into the cooling system or returned to the municipal water supply. Inspired by the ingenuity of a beetle and the charge of a bee, this technology can help dramatically reduce global water usage. By creating a circular water supply, for some of the biggest consumers. And that means more water for a thirsty planet.